Yeah. This is one of those stories, you guys, that restores hope. A, a black flight attendant and a chance encounter with a passenger that sparked a conversation about racism in America. Jock Gray, I know you're watching out there. I saw your text this morning. It's a conversation that we've all seen front and center, especially over the last few weeks. But how do you have that conversation with a stranger? Turns out all it took was a little confidence and finding common ground. Oh, my mom got a new job. A simple smile can often be the sign of joy, happiness, love, and even some good news. Oh, I believe this is old. This isn't old, this is new, not. But good news hasn't been easy to come by for the last few days. It's just really hard having to like juggle what's really going on in the world and then what I have to do as a person. Like I have to <laughs> go and smile and comfort people and, you know, help people. You probably can't see it through her face mask, but for Duncanville native and Southwest Airlines flight attendant Jock Ray, her smile is one she proudly wears daily. You know, the night before I was watching TV and I would switch to each channel. I just inundated myself with all that negative energy. She's talking about the images and videos of George Floyd taking his last breath. If that wasn't enough, some of the feedback she's seen online has really caused some concerns. I just want you to see that this is happening. And we need to change it. And that's not a, a color thing. It's a right and wrong thing. A conversation about what's right and what's wrong is exactly what she hoped for last Friday morning. Now, the stranger that she talked to and what united them, well, that came as quite the surprise. Because he had that book, I felt like he wanted the conversation. The book she's referring to is White Fragility, why it's so hard for white people to talk about racism. The man who boarded her flight, the CEO of American Airlines, Doug Parker. I was like, hey, so you, I see you're reading that book. And he was like, oh yeah, and he took it out of the seat back pocket. He was like, yeah, I'm halfway through. It just talks about, you know, how we need to like, you know, talk about these things. And, you know, it's up to us. It's our fault. We need to start these conversations. And I was like, <sighs> and I was like, I just want to, I just want to fix it. She describes that encounter in a now viral post on Facebook and says that conversation has reminded her of something she hopes others will remember as well. Getting rid of the distance between us as a society. Stop it making us so self-centered and open our eyes to the things that are going on with other people. You know, sometimes all it takes is a book in hand or a genuine smile to a stranger that can connect you to someone new, someone who doesn't look like you in Dallas. It's reaffirmed that we can change. I'm Tashara Parker.